Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we're going to look at a very special product and we're going to open up the two sealed starter decks in this gift box because this is the Magic the Gathering 4th edition gift box that uh, was released by WotC in May of 1995. This was made for beginning players and in here we're going to find two bricks that are actually the same as two starter decks. So a starter deck would be sold in this box and you can find 60 cards in here. And the crazy thing about this product is, this is made for starting players, but these starter decks, and maybe when you started in this era of magic, you still remember, they contain 60 cards, but they're they're so random. You've got nine uncommons, three rares, they could be of all the, all the colors of magic, so there's no consistency. We've got, I believe, 22 lands and 28 uncommons. So it's gonna be, yeah, it, it's gonna be a little bit crazy. But yeah, this, this is how you started the game. I mean, I also have a revise pack here. I started with one of these. This was my basically my first deck, right? Not this box, but a box like this. You would just buy a starter deck and that would be the start of, uh, yeah, of your actual deck. So let's open this up. Let's have a look at what we can find inside. So this was uh, on the outside. This box was mailed to me by Dan from Denmark. And um, he told me that only the wrapping outside has been opened. The rest is still in its original state and here we see a rule book we see some kind of mail card uh, this is really cool so this is the duelist a special edition duelist that was added to these uh, boxes and in here is also a uh, I think an article where they explain the magic lingo and I think Tim is in there as well here learn the lingo so cool and then we have oh there's Tim nickname for the protocol sorcerer named after a character from the movie Monty Python and the Holy Grail I am an enchanter there are some who call me Tim. It's really nice, really sweet. A trip down memory lane, this is for me. And then we have a pouch. And in this pouch, of course, we've got some glass beads. It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Let me take one out. So this is how we would track actually our lives. We didn't have any dice for the lives. lives. We used the glass beads to track our life totals. Anyway, so this is all in there. Let me put it aside. Let's find some space because I want to have enough space for the actual card. So here are the cards. Man, this is this is exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to this. By what name are you known? There are some who call me Tim. So these are the two starter decks. Uh, so the idea was you would play this with a friend. You're both just starting magic. You're opening one of these bricks and uh, we're going to open both of them today. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just so curious. Hey, we got a glass bead here. That's good. Let's Put that in the pouch. There we go. And as you can see, they're still completely sealed. No way what's in here. And that's of course the most important part. Now, the box did have some water damage, so I hope that the cards are not damaged as well. I guess we're just gonna check that out, but yeah, what a nostalgic feeling this is to, to go and open these two. So these are both uncommons, right? So we've got nine uncommons in total and three rares. Guess I'm just gonna, you know what? Let's start with the vision. Let's start with vision, a card from uh, Legends originally. So fourth edition, of course, the set that came after revised. Can we open it? There we go. Opening is not easy, people. Especially when you do it through a camera. There we go. Now I've got something. Yeah, now I got it. Opening it. Wow. A brick of back fresh fourth edition magic cards. A starter deck, 60 cards thick. Amazing. What a cool feeling. I just give me a moment here. Ah, oh, that ink smell, unbelievable. It really, the smell just takes me back. So what I'm gonna do, because I've got nine uncommon, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are the uncommons, I'm gonna put them here on the top. Then we've got three rares, one rare, two, and three. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. If I did my research, if I'm correct, we should now see basic lands. Hey, there we 
we go. Look at those crisp plants. There doesn't seem to be any water damage that I can see. So we've got, let me put that over there. We've got a mountain, island, forest, plains, um, and just beautiful lands. The lands alone make it worth it. Swamp. I mean, when you're opening this, you know you're not going to get any real value out of it, right? You just do it for the love of, of the nostalgic feeling that opening is priceless. Again, Dan, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to open this. And of course, I got a little wish list. I mean, there are some really nice cards in 4th edition. Land Tax, Sylvan Library, Birds of Paradise would be awesome. You know, those cards would be really, really nice. In the commons, we've got, of course, Lightning Bolt. There we've got a mountain, a forest, a plains, a swamp, another mountain, an island, a forest, another forest, plains, a swamp. Wow, we, we should be getting close to the end of the basics, right? I believe 22 basics. Oh, there we go, the mountain. And here we have the first common, which is a holy strength, a flight. This is a good one, a disenchant. Really nice having a pack fresh disenchant. A vampire bats, goblin rock sled, Amru Kitken, a pestilence, a bird maiden. Card originally from Arabian Nights. It's not a good card, but I love the art. It's just, it's so joyful. So joyful. Uh, Pearl Unicorn. Yeah, 2-2 two -two Vanilla. Nobody plays it. Again, I love the art. I love the yellow background, the movement of the horse. Merc Dwellers. It's now a zombie, so it's a little bit more playable. Marsh Gas. Shenodin Dryads, the 1-1 one -one Force Walker. Merfolk of the Pearl Trident, a Dwarven Warriors, a Healing Soft, a Drudge Skeleton, a Scrip Sprites, Fire Breathing. Let me just make sure that there's no shadow on the cards. Yeah, this is really cool. Oh, we got another card, a PT. Yeah, card from Arabian Nights. Then we have an Unholy Strength, and you probably know the Revised Virgin still has a pentagram here, but they edited that out of the 4th um, edition one. Lana or Elves, so this is one of the better comments. Scape Zombies, Wild Grove. The cool thing is, by the way, all these cards are going into my 4th edition collection, because they're just, they're gem mint, you know, these are packed fresh cards. Giant Strength. A Pit Scorpion. So this is one of the first cards that could actually give your opponent poison counters. Really cool. Together with Nasp, Nasp, Asp. I can't really pronounce it. A Pit Scorpion. And here we have the first uncommon vision. So one white for a sorcery. Look at the top five cards of any library. You may then shuffle that library. A Carrion Ants. Oh, this is a strong card. Two black and two to cast an O1 creature. And for one, you can give a plus one, plus one. And what I like here about, about this card is the flavor text. War is no picnic, my father liked to say. But the ants seem to disagree. If you can combine this with tons of mana, your opponent has a problem. There we see Mind Bomb. So Mind Bomb, a really nice way to maybe deal some damage in a blue aggro shell. Or if you play some kind of reanimator shenanigans, a way to discard the cards you want. And here we have Ivory Cup. So we've now had three uncommons. It's uncommon number four, Ivory Cup. A 1-1, one, one, Anson Maddox, Wall of Bone. And we have Earth Elemental. So we now have five uncommons. So this is number six. A Castle, really nice to combine with a Veteran Bodyguard. So this was number seven. This is number eight. Animate that. Ooh, I'm really happy with this one. This is such a nice card. So if you play a reanimator strategy, 
You can actually use the Mind Bomb to discard your big creature, get it back with your anime dead. And then the last uncommon, I think, which is Evil Presence. Goes really well with the Zombie Master. Now we're going to go to the first rare of the pack. It's green, it's Anson Maddox. Oh, this is a living artifact, right? Yes, living artifact. Wow. Just a lot of text. Basically, you gain one life every upkeep if you if you do your work well. This is you can combine this with bronze tablet. It's kind of funny. Uh, okay, a white card. Is this the plus seven plus seven card for a blocking creature? No, it's pure lace. Change the color of target spell or target permanent to white. Okay, the last rare. Is it gonna be a Birds of Paradise? It's a red card, it's a 2-2. Oh, it's a Goblin King! That is pretty sweet, a pack fresh Goblin King. That brings back memories. Wow, okay, so these are the three rares in the pack. I'm especially happy with the Goblin King. That is a really nice find. And now we're going to move on to the second starter deck, the second brick, I should say. So 60 cards again. Can you imagine that this would be your starting deck when you start Magic? That's just crazy. Remember, it's, this product was made for a beginner. I mean, it's super hard to play with all these random cards with your mana base as a beginner, but okay. You know, whatever. Um, I'm happy they're randomized, by the way. It makes it a lot more fun to open. So really happy with the Goblin King. Let's see. Let me get the scissors back. Oh, ooh, look at that. That wasn't good. Look, there's a ding here on the card. You see that? Wow. That is not great. I believe, though, those are common, so that's not too bad. Still, it's a shame, though, but... Ooh, we can see a card there. Anyway, these are the uncommons, right? So, again, we're going to do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine. So these are the uncommons. Now we're gonna get the rares. One, two, three. Okay, gonna turn it around. So we've got our land pack again. This time I'm gonna go a little bit faster because we just saw the lands. So I'm just gonna quickly go by them. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite basic land art. I mean, these are still my favorite basics, but probably just because I'm old and I started playing with these. Like some of the new lands are nice, but some also seem overly complex or too figurative, if you know what I mean. Like I think an island should still have an island on it, but that's just me. And here we go. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the comment section. So here we see, like I always call this the mini force of nature, the war mammoth. Then we have the Death Ward, the Twiddle. That's a really handy little, little common. Then we have the Hill Giant. Then we have the Pikeman, COP Green, the Weakness. I think Weakness is a little bit underestimated. It's a, when you play with it, you kind of see that it's a pretty good card. I love making like a Hypnotic Spectre an 0-1 flyer. This is so funny. Anyway, Land Leeches, Erosion, not the best card from the dark or originally. Uh, we've got a Drain Life, lovely art of regeneration. Look at that, really cool. We've got a Spell Blast, Giant Tortoise, the card from Arabian Nights. Just keep it untapped and you've got a 1-4 for two, which is pretty decent. Bloodlust, and Circle of Protection White. Blue Elemental Blast, that's pretty nice, pretty good common, I can use that. Disintegrate, a Mesa Pegasus, a Phantasmal Terrain, Hurloon Minotaur. This is, Dan is a member of the um, the Hurloon Heroes. That's his play group, it's called the Hurloon Heroes. So I'm gonna send this back to you, Dan. This, this one is for you, I'm gonna send it back. A Brainwash, a Sunken City, a Brothers of Fire, 
a holy armor, a stone ring, a raised dead. Okay, and now we're at the uncommons. Okay, let's get the focus going. So an orcish artillery. We saw that one already to 1-3. The then we have a lure, great with thicket basilisk. Then we have a cave people. I I mean, people love it or hate it, but I kind of like the art of Drew Tucker. I think it's original, it's different. I like it. I mean, just there's so much happening here. I love it. Anyway, um, summon, summon cave people. I love the creature types. Back in the day. Oh, this is really playable. A Mistress Factory. Nice. A Simulacrum. So we've now had four uncommons. By the way, this is number five. Simulacrum. Number six, the Fire Elemental. Number seven, Circle of Protection Artifacts. Number eight, I believe, the Bok Wrath. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the last uncommon, the wall of fire. And now we're gonna go into the rare zone again. This is exciting stuff. Let's just do a little peek. Mark Ted and, oh, is, that, is this one of those anti-cards where you, could, you need to play with your hand open on the table? Uh, yeah, Rebirth, Rebirth. Actually, it's a different card than I meant, but Rebirth, each player may be Healed to 20 life, any player choosing to be healed empties an additional card from the top of his or her library. Remove Rebirth from your deck before playing, if not for Anti. So unfortunately, Anti doesn't happen that often anymore. So not the rare I was hoping for. Still love the art though. And I mean, it's back fresh, can't complain. And Dan Frazier, it's an artifact. Could it be Aladdin's ring? Yay, Aladdin's ring. Nice, such an epic card. So this was kind of the power level back in the day, right? Eight to cast, eight and tap. What do you get for 16 mana? Four damage to any creature or to any target, right? To target creature or player. But this is how bad the power level was. Okay, so what are we hoping for? This is the last rare. So Sylvan Library, Lantex, uh, Crusade perhaps, Birds of Paradise. Let's have a look. Christopher Rush, it's an artifact. Ooh, I don't think Old Swamps. Oh, Cormus Bell. There we go. That's pretty cool. Cormus Bell. I like it. I think it's really nice. So this were the openings of the two starter decks. I would like to thank Dan, of course, for sending this over. It's been really cool to open these. And uh, just thank you for the experience. I absolutely love these cards. They're in really good condition. There's no water damage at all. So I'm gonna include most of them in my fourth edition collection. Dan, thank you again very, very much for sending this over. And also thank you, thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.